pains of defeat, I'm winning this victory sweet. Take it from me, but when I'm feeling down, bad, sad, Jesus, help me, I'm sinking low. Can you help me off the flow? Can you help give me more dough? I know that you say, but I can't feel you no more. Remind me what feelings are for. I'm tired of the pain, but what does it profit me to complain? Get this support for me, I won't change, the change was given. So I need to check. Tell people who you are and your son and the reason we're uh, speaking today. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Bob Moon. I'm a uh, hip hop artist. I live in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, I'm married, got four kids. And right now I'm pushing a record, um, Get It Together, featuring my young, my oldest son, uh, Young Dow, who is with me right here. So say what's up. What's up? Hi. <laughs> He's super happy today. Yeah. So, and then with that record, um, what was the inspiration behind the track? This already got like 15,000 views on YouTube. That's impressive. Yeah, um, we were just um, really just wanted to do, combine something that could be fun with something that could be real and authentic and vulnerable. And um, I've been wanting to do something like that for a while. It's just, um, you know, you gotta wait till you get that right track, that right feeling, that right moment in time. And um, it just, you know, by the grace of God, it lined up. Um, so, you know, it's just about, you know, kind of encouraging yourself, me personally encouraging myself, you know, sometimes when we're down, you know, um, we have the tendency to kind of wait or kind of secretly long for somebody around us to come and sort of pick us up. But to be honest with you, you know, we're, we can't put that pressure on people. We have to, um, you know, there has to be something in us. Yeah, we do need that outside support, but what if you don't get it? Are you going to stay down? And, um, sometimes you just have to get yourself together and, and, and kind of like David in the Bible, there was a time when no one was there to pick him up. He had to strengthen himself in the Lord. So that's kind of what it was with me, you know, during the period. And I think we all can kind of attest to this within the last year with everything going on, you know, uh, hopefully it encourage somebody out there who may not have that support out there or may have it, but may just still need to kind of, you know, pick themselves up, up a bit and, and just to get yourself together, get it together. Everything is fine. You're breathing air. You're still here. God is on the throne. You got another day to fight. So let's keep pushing. Woo -woo. Okay. <laughs> you testifying right now. Like, uh, and it seems like that's what you do though. Um, so was it always a goal to collaborate with your kids? Yeah. You know, um, this, you know, uh, my label, he did it LLC, which really isn't just my label. It's, it's a family business. And that's how we always um, um, pretty much uh, um, plan for it to be. My wife, she's already involved in um, a handful of my records. Um, if you look on my YouTube channel, she's got a, a record of her own. And she also has some collaboration with me as well. And so that kind of, you know, really laid the foundation and the groundwork of, you know, eventually incorporating our children into it. And up until this point of my career, Career. My children have been very involved behind the scenes, whether it be um, when I'm performing, just getting up on stage, or whether it be my daughter helping me on the production end and helping me with um, content, or my wife just helping me, period, right? Establish the record label and establish um, art. So, yeah, that's definitely always been the goal. And, um, you know, we want to leave a legacy for, for them to um, take with them and, and do something even greater, you know, when our time comes. So this is our legacy for them, but we're just starting early. And hopefully um, the hope is that it, as it continues to grow, they find their own artistic and spiritual value to incorporate to it. And, um, and, and they just take the torch and run with it, you know? All right. I can dig it. So what is your Dallas saying about his work and what is his friend saying? Well, uh, Dallas, how do you feel about the song, Get It Together? Want to come up and, and say a little bit? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> um, speak up. Good. Uh, good. Well, I've been the Get It Together song. And what about when you performed it in front of your friends and family members? What have, what have they said about it? Did they like it? Were they excited? Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. They loved it. I did it at my school. So you got to perform in front of all of your peers. That was huge. When did you do that? Uh, I did it. Oh. This was on. Uh, this was actually before we released it. Um, so it was sometimes last year, and uh, we just wanted to kind of test it out, see how it was. And um, he he was able to perform it at school, 
and then also perform it with some family members prior to it being released. So uh, I think you felt pretty good about that. <laughs> Are you like a celebrity now at school? Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love it. So respectful. He's like, um, I'm not sure yet, but ask me in about two years. <laughs> right, right. So are you going to perform at other schools? Uh, I only performed at this school. Okay. Um, Dad, what do you have planned? Um, so right now, uh, I'm actually in the process of, of building a new studio space. And um, we're just um, preparing for this upcoming album. Um, this is the third single uh, for the album um, slated to drop in the fall uh, titled Don't Worry. And um, everything is just a build up to that point to hopefully inspire people to, um, you know, uh, tap into their faith, no matter how dark things may get. And, um, you know, I'm going to have some special uh, guests along the way, my family included. So we all looking forward to that. And also the video, we just, me and my son, uh, we shot the video. Um, and it's going to be released March 25th. So it's shot by um, my homie Cole Breed. He's from Montgomery, Alabama, um, featuring um, um, some great dancers. They go by the name of DFOD, different flavors of dance. They're right here from Montgomery, Alabama. So um, Thursday, March 25th, the video is dropping. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, By Moon Music, so that you can know exactly when it drops and you don't want to miss that. Don't miss it because even with the video that's out now, that's definitely, you got some visual effects going on now because I thought that was the video. So <laughs> that's just the press. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's just the audio. So, you know, that people can hear the record and because um, the original record, we, we dropped it um, um, around the top of, the, of this year. So just wanted to build a buzz and build a greater audience for it. And, uh, and, and hopefully this video uh, will even do even greater than that. So it's all about just kind of promoting, marketing, and building. And um, that's what we want to do to lead into the album in the fall, you know. Okay, I can dig it. So with that being said, you, you're doing that. You have the new album. Is, are the kids going to be on that album? Or is this just the single that's going to be on the album? Um, well, yeah. So this single, Get It Together, will be on the album. Um, along with, um, I think me and my wife are definitely working on um, a few records. And then I have other collaborations from artists right here in Montgomery, Alabama as well. So you kind of get a taste of, of, of not just myself, but um, the flavor down here. And, um, but coming from a perspective of, you know, sort of, I hate to say crying out to God, but yeah, you know, there, I think there's a lot of people right now who, who have been crying out. And, and what is God's response to our cry? And that hints the title, don't worry, because that's been his response to mine. Don't worry. I got it covered. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. So, you know, it's, it's a very exciting time in regards to um, the responsibility we have as artists, as creators, and as if you want to call ministers to really, um, um, you know, uh, be a light out here in, in the midst of darkness. So very excited about this upcoming project. Wonderful. So, um, and then this is a question about the kids. Uh, why do you think it's important to get the kids involved with something early, whether music or business? Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's really, um, I think it's really um, important, or should I say even more important to just kind of study your children um, early on and see what piques their interest. Um, I'll give you a prime example. When Dallas was three months old, uh, for, for whatever reason, I would just rap to him when I was giving him a bath or he was a little baby. And I would call him Young Dow at three months old. I, I, don't, I didn't plan it. It just would, I would do a song to him and say Young Dow. So uh, I noticed he liked that. And then I, when he would go to sleep at night, his mom would play my albums because I've been um, pursuing his career ever since he was born. So whatever album I had at the time, she would play my rap album for him to go to sleep every night. And, and he gravitated toward that. So um, even like with my daughter and, and how she uh, really gravitates towards music. She, when she's doing her work, she loves to have music, headphones in. She gravitates towards books. She loves to read, and, and I love to read. And, and, and even my youngest children, seeing what they're into so that we can begin to incorporate them into what we do. 
Um, so I, I think that's even more important because, you know, and even sports, you know, he's playing basketball. My daughter loves volleyball. You know, just figuring out whatever your kid, whatever kind of sparks their interest and just keep fueling that flame. And it just so happens in our family, you know, that interest is art and, um, and ministry, if you will. So, you know, just paying attention to the kids and saying, OK, there might be something there. Let's give them a shot and, and, and see what God does with it. So I think it's very important, you know. Big facts. So, and this is a no-brainer that you're going to do more songs as you gravitate further uh, throughout the year or next year. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, this is the third single off of this project. We have um, at least three more singles leading into the album. And then we have more albums. My wife, she has a project that she's been working on. So we're really, really excited about that. I'm pretty sure the kids that have some input. I'm, I'm looking forward to my daughter, my oldest daughter, really um, getting down with her mom on some things. So um, yeah, we, we have a lot of ideas in the work. It's just about timing, um, Tawana. It's, it's about timing. You know, when you have a family, you know, th there's en enough families who've done this mm -hmm. to, to, to be able to study and draw from, to learn what, what, what to do and what not to do. And, and to what I like to call make new mistakes. You know what I mean? Because this business is, you know, I don't care if you're on a Christian gospel end, whatever it still has its demons, right? And and you just want to be careful to what you're exposing your children to. So the one thing that we do is we don't rush. We, we really take our time and everything is usually organic. And, um, and, and that way we know that it's going to be long lasting. So it would definitely be more to come. I truly believe. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I can dig it and I'll be on the lookout for that. So when you began making gospel gospel music, in what ways did you consider marketing and fan base? Well, um, I, I had to credit my days to working in radio. Um, I, I worked uh, a total of seven years um, um, in radio broadcasting as a producer and, and as an assistant music director and program director, et cetera. And so, you know, we would do parties for, for the, the, the college. Uh, we would do, um, you know, local gatherings. We would do concerts. And all of that, you know, I, I had to lead a team, a street team. All the things that I'm doing now, I was doing for uh, uh, the radio station. And then even being a youth pastor and doing um, youth fundraisers and youth concerts and, and different things to blow up the church. All of that I was doing then. And I think it all prepared me for now. So as far as now, it, it, it's taking all of those elements that I've learned and even continuing to learn and implementing them into this, this label and, 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 um, and what we do today. So it's definitely very important because, you know, people, you know, nowadays there's so much content coming out and you have to really figure out how to establish yourself, how to stand out. And to be honest with you, Tawana, the easiest way to do it is to just be yourself, you know, like on, on Get It Together, we got a dancing robot, <laughs> you know, on, on the artwork. And, and those are just one of those organic things that my art director showed it to me. And I'm like, you know what, why not? Let's give it a shot. So, you know, just, just you know, taking a risk on being yourself, your own individual self, that will stand out enough. And you don't have to try to do extra, just be yourself and and, and see see what God takes you. So it, it's very important to, to um, um, you know, get the product out to the people in a way that's fresh, unique, and, and attractive, I think. Okay. Dallas, what'd you think about the robot? <laughs> uh, Come up. The dancing robot in the video. Oh, uh, it was terrible. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Yes, tell the truth. <laughs> yep. He said it was terrible. We were trying to we were trying to get my art designer to do like some like some modern dances, like do the shoot or something like that. He was uh -huh. like, dude, it's already built into it. Like that's all it can do. So it's like, you know what? Just let it fly, man. It fly. So he was like, Daddy, that's all it can do. It's like, yeah, man, that's it. Dallas said he ain't playing no games tonight. He was yeah. Ready to eat, you ready to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So when I interviewed you last year, it was virtually and over the summer. How do you feel the internet has impacted the music business since the last time we spoke? Man, it, it's I think it's impacted it greatly and, and not just even the music business, you know, um, um, every business, you know, everybody's, um, you know, doing Zoom conferences, everybody's getting... Um, you know, more creative in how we approach um, people. Um, and particularly in music, you know, it's all about people. It's all about, if there's no people, then 
what's the reason of us creating this only for it to sit up and, and not be consumed so you know it really gives an opportunity for creativity and and i had i was doing one interview and the young lady suggested you know me do a zoom um like a zoom party for the premiere of the video i was like wow that's a great idea so it's it's really um i think uh opening up our creativity and right. um and especially as artists we're already creative so just finding new ways to use these platforms to reach people we never thought we would reach you know it could definitely be a blessing in disguise it, it is a blessing in disguise because events that i'm like i probably would have turned down i don't even have to go to now i'm just online like okay that music is a bop okay who's that in the background so yeah. i'm going to the virtual parties dressing up and showing up I don't even have to be there. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. I'm down for the virtual party with the light and all that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Dress up for verses, by the way. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, I'm, I've been known to, too, myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what is one great thing that happened to you inside the pandemic? Um, Man, I... You know, God has definitely been faithful in my life. I, I got to say this, we were able to, um, you know, me and my wife had a plan of uh, building a home. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been planning on it for uh, at least about four years and, and just, you know, waiting on the right time to execute. And we didn't even think, if you would have asked me last year, we would have built our home, sold the house we were in and be in this new house. I, I would have thought you were crazy, but, you know, that was one of the, the blessings that God had for us. So, yeah, we were able to build our the home that we were planning to build for about four or five years and um, sell our other house. And that happened around the time where I got this new distribution and publishing deal so that we can invest more into the craft and into the business. So it, it, it was an extreme blessing. Plus, we needed more space. There's six of us. So we needed more space, man. Yeah. <laughs> That, that was an extreme blessing. So I'm in my new studio space now. We're building it up, and um, um, it's beautiful. It's, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. I am so happy for you uh, that you are one of the testimonies that can have a positive thing to say to encourage other people. So thank you for that. Thank you. Um, Dallas, do you do you have a studio? What you got going on, little man? Uh, I play games. <laughs> Dallas, say, listen, I'm gonna give it to you raw. <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> what Dallas. lessons did you learn um in this year um i think um for me um uh, the, the biggest lesson was what what god has for you truly is for you mm -hmm. and and i say that because and i think i talked about this with you a little bit last year how um i really was having second thoughts about all of this that I'm doing, you know, as being a husband and a father with children and responsibilities, I'm thinking, look, man, I don't, you know, the music thing is cool, but I don't have time to invest in this. I got to go get it. I got to do what I got to do. And I said this prayer to God and I, and I said, Lord, if you want me to do this, you bring me back. But in the meantime, you know, I got to go out here and make something happen, right? Well, in the midst of me trying to make something happen, um, you know, that's right around the time the pandemic broke out and shut down everything. So there was no jobs to be had. And so I even said, you know what, I'll, I'll you know, work with my wife because my wife is a realtor. So I'll get my real estate license. I, I go to get my real estate license and without even really searching for it, I ended up landing a distribution deal, with, which led to a, a publishing deal through the work that I had already done. And, and if that wasn't enough, um, the radio station I was trying to work for again, I was trying to get my job back. They didn't hire me, but they ended up hiring my label and my production company to do a special project um, um, uh, telling about the pandemic's effects on communities of colors and small businesses. And, and, and so that was my first big paid project for the label. And, and it was like, wow. So if God didn't speak clearly enough for me then, it's like, okay, I know it, not just to me, but to my family and to my supporters that, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So again, even if, you know, we tend to give up on our dreams, God has it. And what he has for us, if we leave it in his hands, he would definitely give it back better than what we left off. So what God has for you is definitely for you. Okay. He raising his hand. What you got, little man? Uh, you got to stand up so she can see you. I, I, I was just raising my hand. Oh. <laughs> He's like, okay, let's wrap it up. All right. <laughs> I got you. I got you, boo. We get ready to wrap it up right now. I have two more questions. With the new single, um, is it getting radio play? 
like do you plan to tour it in other schools like what is the goal what is, what is the overall goal for it um well the big goal is to get as much exposure as possible with each single that we drop and to to grow it so that by the time the album comes out we have the maximum exposure uh, possible and a kind of pun to my partners at double exposure you know we want to get the maximum exposure possible so uh, i am um uh, i will be involved in a tour um um uh, I, and I got this is fresh material, so I'm, I'm not going to speak too much on it at this point. But um, um, during the during the summer and the fall, I think that mm -hmm. is an entity out of um, Memphis, Tennessee, that they do nonprofit tours and, and they not only bring artists in, but they're also helping the communities to do different things. But uh, the, again, the, the main primary goal is to get for each single to um, treat it, treat each single like a project so that we get as much exposure as possible so that by the time the album comes, we have an even greater audience than we did before and to keep going and to just keep going and going. But that's kind of the, uh, I guess you could say the, the, the marketing aspect of it, but also artistically and spiritually speaking, giving some content that's real and that's jamming. You know what I mean? Um, right. Um, that's, that's come from a pure place and, and it has a great sound to it. So, you know, overall to, to reach the maximum amount of listeners that, that, that will gravitate to the type of music I'm making and mm -hmm. hopefully to grow that so that when this album comes, we have an even bigger audience to enjoy it. Well, I think you will. I mean, you know, I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, like I told you with the first single, what was it? All white. And I'm like, I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should be listening to this or... <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, definitely a talented man. And then with the family, you know, and we glorify Black family, we glorify Black culture, specifically, especially in the pandemic, that you're, that you're rising to the occasion and doing what you need to do. So uh, I am so happy for you. I will promote you. Like, just let me know when this virtual party is going to be and I'll be there. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, and this is my last question. So tell our view. Well, actually, no, you said you had a distribution deal. So for people who missed the first interview, that's not aware of all the amazing things that you have going on. Can you touch on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So um, I was able to partner with uh, Who Mag Distribution with um, Rob Swartz. And um, that led to um, the publishing deal with um, Double Exposure um, Media with Angelo and um, um, his, his partner, Kevin. So, um, you know, just different different opportunities. I'm sorry, keep that off, man. Just different opportunities to, um, again, maximize the exposure of the content, getting the music to places that I couldn't get it to. Um, and also to help, you know, these guys have been in the industry for many years. Um, they've been where I'm trying to go and, and they get what I'm doing. And so just having like-minded individuals around you that can, can, can you, just, just being around people that are doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? It, it, it speaks volumes. So I'm always getting nuggets from them. I'm always getting gems and, and just learning from them, especially on the business aspect and marketing things. And so that's been great for me. And, and hopefully being an inspiration to my local homies who are out here grinding to keep pushing. You know, again, what God has for us is for us. So keep pushing and our time is coming. Amen. So where can our viewers follow you and download your music? Yeah, so you can check me out um, on my website at vimoon.com. Um, there you'll find my YouTube channel. You'll find um, uh, all of my social medias. And um, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Vimoon Music. That way, when March 25th gets here, you'll know exactly when the music video drops. But um, if you're already on Instagram right now, just type in Vimoon or at Vidamoon. But um, um, that's V-Y-D-A-M-O-O-N. But again... To make it easy, just go to vimoon.com and you'll see Young Dial on my page doing a few things, him and his brothers and sisters holding okay. hands. You know? Okay, okay, okay. We're going to send some elementary kids your way. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. 